Imagine you are a detective unraveling a mystery, but instead of solving crimes, you are cracking the code to speak fluent English. The technique that we are going to learn in today's class is going to be very, very effective. If you pick any one of those topics, and if you are really struggling to speak on it for at least two minutes, then the technique that we are going to discuss in today's class is going to be magical for you. Believe me. Today, we are diving into the 5WS method. Who? What? When? Where? Why? Now, this simple tool is going to be your secret weapon if you are willing to speak English like a pro. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Ready to uncover the magic? Let's first start with who. Now, just imagine this. You are narrating a story. Who's there in the story? Now, this story could be about a thrilling adventure that you did with your friends. Imagine who were involved in your story. Focus on the subjects. So, who is it? The hero, the sidekick or the mysterious villain? See, by clearly identifying who, you add depth and excitement to your tales. So instead of simply saying, we went to the concert, you can now say, my friends and I went to the concert of our favorite music band. Now your audience is hooked. Imagining the people behind the action. And here you go. Now you know why who is important. Bringing who into your picture makes your conversation more vibrant and relatable. Next, let's decode what. Think of it as a plot twist in your story. What happened? What's the big deal? Instead of simply saying, I saw something cool, you could say, I saw an incredible fireworks display that lit up the whole sky. Boom. Instant intrigue. Adding what spices up your narrative, making it more engaging and memorable. Time to tackle when. Imagine you are setting the stage for an epic tale. When did it all unfold? So instead of simply saying, I went to the zoo, you could say, I visited the zoo last Sunday right after brunch. Now by pinpointing when, you set the scene perfectly for your audience. Including when helps your listeners place the events in their own timelines making your story come alive. Now let's explore where. Think of it as the backdrop of your story. Where did everything happen? Instead of saying, I had lunch, try and put some extra detail. Talk about the place. You can try and say, I had lunch at the cozy cafe by the river. Now look at the difference between both the sentences. With time and without time. I had lunch. I had lunch at that cozy cafe by the river. You see, which one is more intriguing? This detail not only set the scene, but also transports your audience to that exact location. Where adds context and helps your audience visualize your experience better. Finally, we have why. This is the heart of your story. The reason behind the action. Why did it happen? Why is it important? So instead of just saying, I started a new hobby, you could say, I started painting because I wanted to explore my creative side and relax. Now, this adds motivation and meaning to your words. Explaining why enriches your conversation, making it more compelling and engaging. So there you have it, the 5 WS method. Here are the 5 WH words that can actually work as your magical tool. Now let's look at the topics once again with which you were initially struggling. Take a look at those topics and try out this method which we have recently learned. Try out this 5 WS method. Start asking with who and then go ahead with what when, where, and why. Remember here, you are not just speaking English. You are telling a story. 
a story that captivates and resonates. And if you add some extra details, you will be able to speak for more than two to three minutes. Try it out for yourself and let me know about your experience in the comment section. I know all of you are excited to try it out in your next conversation. If you found this video helpful, do let me know that in the comment section below and also about your experiences because I would love to know them. I'll see you again in my next video very soon. Until then, stay connected and keep practicing.